Ken Bone and his cable knit wow, red sweater were the lovable stars of friendly. Sunday night's presidential debate. Job. What steps will your energy policy take to meet our energy needs? The votes are in, and this undecided voter has won over all of our hearts. Just like that, armed only with a microphone, a mustache, a red sweater, and a supreme sense of chill, Kenneth Bone won the hearts of America. The coal plant operator from Illinois has become a social media phenomenon. Before the debate, just seven Twitter followers. Today, 87,000 and counting. Last night, he was a guest on Jimmy Kimmel. Someone in the audience has a question for Ken. Yes, go ahead, sir. Uh, uh, yeah, last night when you asked about energy policy, there was something I knew I needed to ask you. Uh, how did you ever get such a fresh and cool style? I think the short answer is that my, uh, my wife dresses me like all great Americans. <laughs> so Same what's the story behind that red sweater? Friendly. Turns out he wore it because of a wardrobe malfunction the with the suit he planned to wear. Capsule. When I got in my car to leave for the debate, I ripped the seat out of the pants and destroyed the suit and had to immediately switch to the nicest thing I have that I could switch to in less than a minute, which is the red sweater. If you want the St. Well, Izod pullover, remaining, you're out of minutes. luck. It's sold out on Amazon. Sorry, you guys running for president. It looks like the clear winner of the debate Same was Ken Bone. I think I'm going to go and take off this sweater for a while. It's tired and I'm tired.